hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k divided by 8 is equals to k and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further at the last i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root so please watch this video at the end and also we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and here in the first method uh, you see here 8 is divided by left hand side so we move this 8 to the right hand side so when we move 8 to the right hand side it is multiplied by k and it will becomes k is equals to this is 8 times of k and here in the next step we move this k to the right hand side and when we move this k to the right hand side it will become here 8k minus k and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here we have this is 8k minus k becomes here 7k and this whole equation is equals to 0 now further for the values of k we need to divide both of the sides by 7 in order to remove the 7 from left hand side so that we divide both of the sides by 7 and here you see that the 7 is cancelled out by the 7 and we will get here k is equals to this is 0 divided by 7 and we know about that 0 divided by 7 is equals to 0 so this means that we get here only one value of k and that is k is equals to 0 so this is the one root which we get here from first method and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of k is satisfied our given question statement or not so far this we need to copy down given question statement here it is k divided by 8 is equals to k so this is the our given question statement and here in this side we will verify k is equals to 0 so that we will substitute this value of k is equals to 0 on both of the sides and it will be written as 0 divided by 8 is equals to 0 and here you see that 0 divided by 8 uh, becomes 0 because we know that when we divide uh, a 0 by any other number it is always get 0 so we get here 0 is equals to 0 this shows that both of the sides are equal which means that the value of k is equals to 0 is satisfied over this question statement so k equals to 0 be the solution of this question okay so here in the first method we get here our solution set is uh, 0 and further we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is k divided by 8 is equals to k so this is our given question statement and here uh, in this method we uh, move this k to the left hand side and it will be written as k divided by 8 this is positive k when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative k and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, our first term has denominator 8 so we need to make the denominator of this term is also 8 so in order to make the denominator of this term is 8 we need to multiply and divide this this term by 8 and now you see here uh, the denominator of both of these two terms are same and now here we easily uh, make the LCM of this term so its LCM becomes here 8. Now we divide this 8 by this 8 and we will get here 1 only and 1 times of this k is equals to k minus. Now when we divide this 8 by 8 we also get 1 and 1 times of 8k equals to 8k and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we move this 8k to the right hand side and we will get here k minus 8k becomes minus 7k 
equals to 8 multiplied by 0 becomes 0 because when we multiply 0 with any other number it is always equals to 0 and in the next step we need uh, to remove this minus 7 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by minus 7 so when we divide both of the sides by minus 7 it will be written as in this form so this minus 7 is cancelled out by this minus 7 and we obtained here k is equals to 0 divided by minus 7 so here you again see that uh, 0 divided by, by minus 7 is also equals to 0 so in the second method we again get here the value of k is equals to 0 but in the first method we already verified that this value of k is satisfied our given question statement uh, so the solution set of second method is also becomes here zero so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos